Hi everybody. So for 2019, the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro is about 10 times more obnoxious. And that's because of this thing right here. That is the desert air intake. And sadly, I don't have any desert air to test it out with. But what I do have to test this truck with is plenty of mud and water. And that's what we're here to do today. So in this video, I'm going to run up my hydro line trail, see how these tires do. We're going to test out the differential lock in the rear and then crawl control and see how this truck really splits the power and then we'll get up to a bit of high speed off-roading and really feel how the suspension swallows up the ground. I'm excited to get started so let's do it. Tacoma has not changed for 2019, although the way it's delivered has changed a little bit. So this is a 3.5 V6, makes 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. Now for 2019, Toyota says they tried to make it a little bit more of a broader power band across the revs, as well as just making it more responsive. And I'll tell you exactly what the issue is. This engine makes peak horsepower at 6,000 RPM, peak torque 4,600 RPM. So you really have to lay into it to get the power and Toyota obviously you know heard some complaints about that and tried to make it a little bit punchier in the low end. Let's talk tires. Now Toyota actually installs different tires on its different TRD Pro models and here on the Tacoma we get a set of Goodyear Wranglers with Kevlar protection. Now these are not ultra aggressive all-terrain tires and the trade-off is supposed to be sidewall strength because these tires are Kevlar reinforced and I guess we'll see today if the sidewalls stay intact. Now if you do go for a Tundra TRD Pro you're going to get a set of Michelin ATs and then if you go for the 4Runner you're going to get Nitto Ridge Grapplers. While we're out here guys, let's look at the desert air intake. So there's the air box and the intake actually comes in down a little bit lower, a little lower than actually on the exterior. It must come up through that fender a bit. So one of the real beauties of this coming from the factory is that the hole that's cut in this fender is cut at the factory. Then the entire thing is painted. So you're not going to get any parts that, you know, might start rusting on you. If you did this yourself, you'd probably end up with some unpainted metal in there. So it's always nice to have things come from the factory. Now here's another nifty little feature this head right here you can see it's a little loose if you undid these bolts on either side it actually swivels all the way around the reason being if you're driving in a snowstorm this thing's gonna get clogged up with snow and that's not gonna be good so you can spin it it's also on a tether so it did happen to pop off it's not gonna be totally lost all right, everybody, before we get into the deep stuff, I want to do some differential testing. So here in the TRD Pro, we have a rear locker, but nothing up front. However, this truck does have crawl control, which will actually use the brakes to split the power to the wheel that needs it. So we're going to test this all right now with my staggered ruts here. So first of all, we shift into neutral and we put her over into four wheel drive high. So now we're in four high. Rear diff is not locked. We're gonna creep in here and let's go ahead and see what happens. So the whole idea having these staggered ruts is that you're taking traction away from one tire and giving it all to the other tire as well as testing the articulation because if the truck articulates well, then all the tires will stay in contact with the ground. Okay, now I'm slipping slipping but the truck is making it through so let's see once I get to the next point if I can actually get it stuck lots of slippage wheels spinning <laughs> no in every case it was able to power itself through so there you go I didn't even need to use my rear differential locker in there so here's another point now, I'm back at the start here, um, in four high, I can't even lock the rear end. And after watching some of the footage, my rear end was still breaking the tire that didn't have traction and it was sending it over. That's what the traction control was doing. So now just to see how it does, fully locked, let's put it in four low, it's in neutral. So four low automatically turns off the traction control, but of course in four low, I can go ahead and lock the rear diff. And although it won't look dramatically different, I'm sure um, this truck should just walk right through here even smoother than it did before. 
No, the rear diff is not locking for me. I just got a flashing light right now. Sometimes you just gotta move around a bit. There's neutral again. Let's, whatever, let's just go ahead and start. Maybe it'll lock when it starts spinning. The tires are a bit caked up with mud now too, so we'll see if that makes any difference. Oh yes, it didn't even slip at all. Not even for half a second. And there's the locker. Yeah, so it did make it through without it. Um, and just in four-wheel drive high, just using traction control and, you know, breaking one of the tires. But putting this thing in four low and locking it up, it's so much easier. Now, there's another test I want to do. You guys have probably seen my trench. We have a, a nice trench we dug years ago that fills up with water. I usually drive down it. It's not really all that challenging to drive down it, but driving across it is a different story. So let's go across the trench. This trench is fairly deep, at least a couple feet, and the walls are just pure mud. So it's going to be a lot on these tires to really grab the other side and pull themselves up. Now we're going to cross it at a nice angle, try to put one tire in at a time. And yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I usually don't cross this in trucks. Uh, I generally stick with ATVs and side-by-sides. So let's go ahead and see if this Tacoma can do it. And we're dropping in. We're going to test the brake over right away. Okay, not bad so far. Okay, both tires in. Now driver's side is hitting the wall. Come on, climb, baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> Nicely done, Tacoma. It felt really good. And uh, climbing this other wall here, which like I said, was pretty much a pure mud wall, felt pretty nice. So uh, good on these Wranglers. Guys, check out all the fresh animal tracks in the mud. I think those bigger ones are a deer. This smaller footprint, eh, probably just a raccoon or something like that. And I actually saw a deer out here this morning, so I know they're around. But it's neat because the mud preserves the footprint so well. Well, at least until I run over them. All right, here we go, everybody. First time down the Hydroline Trail for a pickup truck in 2019. And whew, it's been really hot this last week, so the water is gone. But man, the mud is still here and it is deep. It's churning through right now. It's churning. Tires are grabbing pretty well. Keep moving. Keep moving, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Part of the reason why this is going to be so hard for me is because I'm the first truck through this year. Usually, the trail's beaten down a bit better. But it's all this fresh mud that's had the winter to form. <laughs> and it's flying. <laughs> Keep on bogging, baby. Come on. Come on. All right, let's try to build a bit of momentum here. I really don't want to get stuck, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> yes, yes, nice. So, so far, I have it in four low. The power is really nice, and having the gear reduction really helps. I'm able to put the power to the ground, and uh, it feels nice and torquey, down low, nice and responsive, pretty much exactly what you want. Okay, everybody, cameras are set. I'm diving into the deep stuff. We're all locked up, we're still in four low. You know what? And this is my mistake, I wasn't even using the multi-terrain select until right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll set it into mud and sand mode. And that's also gonna help, although the traction control is off now, so it won't affect traction control in four low, but it should affect the throttle response and sort of the way the engine puts power down. Probably in favor of high wheel speeds, because mud and sand, that's what you want. Here comes the deepest section. I'm turtled a little bit right now, so I'm gonna try to get up and off, and once I get in, I'm just gonna give her, and hopefully this Tacoma makes it across. Windows up, periscope is up, let's do it. And drop in right there, nice. Man, it's really doing well. A lot of trucks I've had out here struggle through the middle of this and that really just chugged its way through. Oof, kiss the skid plate there. I got a big rock right on this end and definitely needed the approach. Oh, climbing up that hill, no problem. Man, Tacoma, really impressive. 
And once again, the tires from the exterior certainly don't come across as aggressive tires, but you know, you get them in the middle of that puddle and start pushing and they feel okay. We're through that deepest section of the mud. Now this section of the hydro line opens up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bit of speed and let's feel these Fox shocks. Yeah, really nice job. I run this a lot in side-by-sides which have considerably more suspension travel, um, but feeling these shocks, man, and, and the real key with them, like with a lot of these off-road trucks now, is they're best of both worlds. So they have so many different rebound and jounce zones that when you're cruising down the highway, they're really able in the center of the travel to just have a smooth, calm, sort of regular ride. And then you get out here and you start doing this, <laughs> which is, you know, really beating on them, pushing them deep into their travel, and <laughs> they hold up really, really well. And this is also a good chance to talk about the dimensions of this truck, because it does feel really right-sized for doing exactly what I'm doing here, hustling it. <laughs> And overall, I do have some issues with this truck on road. It really has a big nosedive when you brake on the highway, and I don't love the seating position, the interior, but it's hilarious that on road, I've been kind of complaining all week about this truck. The second you get it out here, it feels like, oh, this is my natural environment. This is where I belong. And it just does everything. So now we're gonna go back down my hill here into the water, and we're gonna try out the crawl control because it will essentially also act as a hill descent control. So we'll go ahead and shift the truck back over into four low. There it is. Now we'll turn on crawl and need to be in drive. And crawl control is available in reverse too, pretty cool. So crawl, and then you have this little knob up here I'll show you, you can set the speed. You have one, two, three, four, five settings. So I'm gonna set it at low, it's lowest speed. Now foot off the brake and right away it grabs. Now you can hear it. That's one of the things with crawl control. It uses the ABS and it just kind of sounds terrible. It sounds like the truck is braking. It's also, feel these jerks, because suddenly the truck runs away and then it catches it. So it's not the smoothest system, I would say, and uh, not the quietest system either. It's doing a you know really nice job though, and you know what? I'll crank up the speed one now. I'm I'm doing it a disservice by putting it right in its lowest setting. See, you crank up the speed a little, and it smooths out. And one more setting, will it smooth out even more? Yep, it smoothed out even more. Okay, so we're coming back into the mud. I'm gonna go full speed crawl control, and here's the gas, and let's go. There's a big rock there. I don't want to get hung up. Yes, and that's the cool thing with crawl control too is. Even with crawl on, if you hit the throttle, it just overrides. So if you need to really give it the beans, you can do that, despite whether you got crawl on or not. <laughs> Good job, Tacoma. There you go, everybody. That's it for Hydroline footage. I'm back in my office now, and we're doing something a little bit differently here. We're gonna end this video by going over how the Tacoma TRD Pro does on our TFL Off-Road Index. So looking at the scoring here, the Tacoma scores 20 points for four-wheel drive, 20 points for a transfer case, 10 for all-terrain tires, five for having over nine inches of ground clearance, 9.4 to the differential to be exact. Now differential locks, essentially the Tacoma has two. It has a rear locker and then it has that transfer case which acts as a center locker. Now for armor, there is the front TRD skid plate and then there is also an engine skid plate in the center so the Tacoma scores six points here. Approach and breakover are over 25 degrees. For approach you have 35 degrees, breakover you have 26 degrees, but the departure here on the Tacoma TRD Pro is 23.9 degrees, so it doesn't get the points for departure. The truck gets no points for cameras, and then finally my subjective score, 0.7. This is a great little off-road truck that has a couple issues on-road, so I couldn't quite go to 8, 9, or 10, but it's a solid 7. Overall, that brings our score to 77.7. .7. Come back to the channel, give us your views, and as always, we're gonna keep bringing you the latest news views and real world reviews. See you guys.